the electrode actually goes into the spinal cord this way through the bones between your spine back here and then uh, eventually exits out, if I can get this to work, exits out over these nerve roots um, and this is where the dorsal root ganglion lies and that's how we're able to specifically target certain areas of the body. This technology is great for patients who have a diagnosis of complex regional pain syndrome um, or have specific nerve injuries of the lower extremities. This is sort of like a pacemaker for the spinal cord. So. I got injured about 14 and a half years ago. I had a fall. I'm standing five feet in the air and I got thrown about 20 feet away. Been through 10 surgeries before I came here. I had my shoulder replaced, my knee replaced twice. Uh, both rotator cuffs and both shoulders were torn. And knee damage. We use electricity to provide low current to specific uh, targets in the spine, but the great thing about it is that we can direct it specifically at an area of, of pain, like for, you know, for, for Ron's case, his knee. We have an outpatient five to seven day trial where we essentially put the electrodes in the spinal cord and have them go home with this hanging out of their body connected to the computer and the battery and see how they do for a period of five to seven days. I wasn't sure what to think in the beginning. Um, I'm glad I did it. Um, it's worked out phenomenal for my knee. Um, got me off a couple more of the med medications that I was on. Um, the Neurotin drug that I've been on for like 12 years. Um, it's a nerve pain drug. And I'm able to walk now pain free.